Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first we will discuss about discount. Before starting with that, let's see what is the definition of marked price, the price printed on an article or say on a tag tied to it or the listed price or you can also say the advertised price is called the marked price of the article. Marked price is abbreviated as MP. Now let's see what is discount. The amount deducted from the original or the marked price is called discount or you can say retail discount Sometimes the retailers reduce the price of the article to increase the sale or to dispose of the old, damaged or perishable goods and this deducted amount from the marked price is the discount. Next we have the definition of the net price. The price of an article after deducting discount from the marked price is called the net price or you can also say the selling price of the article. The discount is always calculated on the marked price. Now we discuss some formula like the selling price SP is equal to the marked price NP minus discount. The next we have discount is equal to the marked price minus the selling price discount percent is equal to the discount upon the marked price MP this more than 200 and from here we have discount is equal to discount percent into the marked price this one upon 100 if we take the discount percent as d percent so here we have d into the marked price mp this one upon 100 This is the discount. So, now the selling price is equal to the marked price MP minus discount. And in place of discount, we can write this, that is D, which is the discount percent, multiplied by marked price, whole upon 100. 
or we have the selling price SP is equal to 100 minus discount percent D this whole upon 100 and this whole multiplied by the marked price NP. Let us now consider an example in which we are given the marked price of an article as $50 and discount percent is 15% denoted by D percent. So, we are given the marked price of the article and the discount percent. So, from this formula, that is discount is equal to the discount percent into marked price upon 100. We can find out discount. So, discount is equal to D into the marked price MP upon 100. Putting the respective values, we get 15 into 50 and this whole upon 100. So this is equal to 7.50 dollars is the discount. We can also find out the selling price by subtracting the discount from the marked price. So, the selling price of the article is equal to the marked price minus the discount that is now the marked price is $50 and the discount is $7.50. So $7.50 subtracted from $50 gives us $42.50. So this is the selling price of the article. Or we can also find out the selling price of the article using this formula that is 100 minus discount percent upon 100. This will multiply by the marked price. That is selling price SP is equal to 100 minus D upon 100 and this will multiply by MP. So we have selling price SP is equal to 100 minus, now the discount percent is 15, so 100 minus 15, this whole upon 100 and this whole multiplied by 50, which is the marked price. Now, further we have 100 minus 15, that is 85 upon 2 dollars is the selling price. So this is equal to. Next we discuss about the successive discounts. Two or more discounts. one after the other on the marked price are called successive discounts The net price after the first discount is found by subtracting the first discount from the marked price. And from this net price, we subtract the second discount to get the net price after the second discount. And this process continues like this. If we have 
डी वन परसेंट डी टू परसेंट आर टू सक्सेसिव डिस्काउंट ऑन द मार्क्ट प्राइस एम पी देन द सेलिंग प्राइस इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस डी वन अपॉन हंड्रेड दिस होल मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वन माइनस डी टू अपॉन हंड्रेड एंड दिस होल मल्टीप्लाइड बाय द मार्क्ट प्राइस एम पी देर इज नाउ कंसिडर एन एग्जाम्पल in which we are given the marked price as 150 dollars and the two successive discounts are 30% and 20% So using this formula, we will find out the selling price of the article given the marked price and two successive discounts. So the selling price of the article is equal to one minus D1, which is thirty upon hundred. This whole into one minus D2, which is twenty upon hundred, and this whole into the marked price, which is one fifty. So this is equal to 70 upon 100 into 80 upon 100 into 150. Now the zero cancels with the zero. The zero cancels with the zero. The zero cancels with the zero. And five three times is 15. Five two times is 10. And two four times is eight. So we have. Eighty-four dollars. That is the selling price is equal to eighty-four dollars. So, when given the marked price and two successive discounts, we have found out the selling price of the article as eighty-four dollars. So this completes the session. Hope you have understood the concept of discount, net price, and successive discounts.